What's going on everybody? Trev Wilson here. Welcome back to the Bourbon Ranch. Today's review is going to be over Elijah Craig Barrel Proof A123. Now, I just did a review over the Larceny A123 and it kind of, you know, blew my mind. Really setting the stage for Heaven Hill in 2023, I think. They're on the right path. Walked in the store today, stumbled across the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof A123. So, been trying to keep these a little shorter because all you want to know is how's it smell, how's it taste, and if you should go buy it, let's just get right into it. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, consistently one of the best 12-year-old bourbons on the market. I should take that back. Just one of the best bourbons on the market, period. And the fact that it's 12 years old is dropped consistently. Uh, this around $70. Easily one of the best value for what you're getting and the price you're paying bourbons, period. Um, this batch coming in 62.8%, 125.6, moving their way back up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Super excited for this. So this is a new bottle. I've opened it, wet my whistle with it, uh, but then we're gonna do a review over this. So again, might need to open up eventually, but who cares? Let's get right into it. On the nose. This thing is crazy. It's kind of almost not even like an Elijah Craig barrel proof, or at least the A batch. I know I kind of categorize Elijah Craig barrel proofs as like all C batches are one way and all B batches are one way. Um, maybe that's just the wrong thing to do, but this is not really like what you would expect from an A batch or uh, an Elijah Craig barrel proof. There's some sort of sweet, fruit coming through there, but it's not, you know, cherry or brighter fruit, like a stone fruit or something, like a grape, or a, not a grape, a raisin. A dark version of a grape is a raisin. So you learn something every day with me. But more like that, more like dark plum, raisin, into that aspect of things. A lot of spices, cinnamon spice, like a nutmeg, and then the crazy thing to me is leather. I know a lot of people use the leather note I don't really use it that often, um, but this one definitely gives me a, you know, horse saddle, cowboy boot, you know, leather. Overall, very, very pleasant nose. Like this, it's a nose that's like, I want to drink the heck out of that. So, so far killing it. So let's see what it tastes like. This thing's a roller coaster. What are we doing here? Man, that is, crazy for an Elijah Craig barrel proof badge. It's, it's, it's different. Um, especially going into this with the notion of this as an A batch. This is unlike any other A batch I think we've had. I'm getting this peanutty, peanut brittle. I'm getting the leather, almost like a tobacco. It's like, it's in that side of things. Um, the sweetness that I'm getting again is coming from a dark, aged stone fruit. I don't even know if that's a thing. That's just what my brain is saying. I'm getting more of the sweet notes up front, like a, a vanilla bean, like a toasted vanilla up front, and then it transformed into the oakiness. I'm getting, it's almost like a Rick House taste. <laughs> it's crazy to, I don't know if that even makes sense, but it tastes like I'm in the Rick House and you're thieving this straight out of the barrel into my mouth. So I'm not saying it's overly oaky, but there is a wood rickhouse, musty rickhouse characteristic to it. It's really nice. It's quite pleasant. I'm just getting a lot of aged characteristics. I mean, it's 12, they're all 12. And I usually get a lot of barrel. I get, you know, a mature bourbon. This one drinks like it's a little more, you're getting a little more of what has been going on for the past 12 years. I'm I'm gathering, you know, all of the sights and sounds and smells of passerbys walking through the Rick house, and guess what? All that joy in the bottle. It's my first drink of the day, too. I think I'm getting a little tipsy really quick, so maybe that doesn't make sense at all. I finished this whole glass on the review. I'm really liking this. It's, um, it's different. It's different from an Elijah Craig batch. It's different for an Elijah Craig A batch. I don't want to say this tastes like a Booker's or something, but it's taking a step away from what I feel like we're, we're used to getting with Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, and it's giving us something a little different. It reminds me that way, like a, a really good Booker's batch, 
kind of picks up some of that Rick House, the peanutty. It's like it's musty. It just it feels like you're in the Rick House and they're taking it straight from the barrel type of thing. It's so good. This is gonna be crazy. This might be, if they stick on this trend, maybe it won't win best Elijah Craig uh, barrel proof batch of the year. But so far, this is so different and unique and giving me different flavors than I'm used to in, in a really good way. I, this is like a top contender. I'm already calling it. This is the first time I've ever just loved an A-batch this much. Just absolutely blowing my mind. This video's gonna be longer than it needs to because I'm getting second to last. This is, this is it. This is done right. I'm, you know, here we go. Cut, cut all this out. We don't care any more tasty notes. Should you buy this batch? abso freaking lootly I think it's gonna be different enough to where I couldn't see someone hating this batch, but I could see people saying this is one of their favorites of all time. I think it's doing its own thing and it's really hitting the spot for me. I don't know if it's just because it is maybe a little fresh of breath there. We're kind of changing things up a little bit with the Elijah Craig's, but I'm digging this. This is like, to me, I'm about to go buy another one. There we have it, guys. Seriously, if you can get these batches, I think this is a fun batch. I think this is doing something different, and I can't wait for the rest of the releases this year. Heaven Hill's been killing it this year. The Larceny batch, really good. This batch, phenomenal. So, uh, definite recommend to go buy it. There we have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you've already tried this, let me know what you think of it. Uh, let me know how you think it's gonna rank previous batches, future batches. I think it's an absolute knockout of the park. Way to freaking go, Heaven Hill. Remember, like, subscribe, comment, all of that stuff down below. It really does help the channel. If you wanna support me more, there's links to do so. Patreon page, we have upcoming barrel picks. We have so many barrel picks, you have no idea what to do with yourself. So go buy some picks, drink some good whiskey. And until next time, guys, I'm Troubles, and see ya next video. Thank you.